welcome to the Hope Park View. My name's Alan Kelly. Uh, off today, we're off today to see uh, Plymouth Argyle versus Rotherham. Um, Rotherham being bottom of the table, not doing very well. You'd say this was a, a, an easy win for Plymouth Argyle, but you never can tell, can you? But uh, the, we're doing all right recently. I watched the game against QPR on midweek there, and uh, we did all right. I know Dan Scar got sent off and that kind of spoiled the game a little bit there and it was all defence, defence, defence but prior to that for the first 20 minutes our goal, it, it was all our goal and we could have easily had that have uh, stayed the same you know, all players on the pitch then uh, I think they'd have gone on and won that quite comfortably it's a real shame that uh, the referee spoiled that game uh, by sending Dan, uh, Dan Scar off but uh, anyway, so today I, I feel that uh, there's sort of a bit of revenge to be had now because uh, they didn't deserve that, um, and uh, rather than our bottom of the table. So, you know, uh, with, with the crowd at home park and everything, I think the Plymouth Argyle would be doing all right. So uh, we'll see. I'll check in with you at half time, and fingers crossed, it's a Plymouth Argyle win. Now, I'm saying I'm saying two, maybe three nil today to Plymouth Argyle. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Well, disaster there, Rotherham have just scored, uh, so that's 1-0, I mean it came out of nothing really, it was poor, poor clearances on our part, there's nobody really going for it, so just managed to slip it in and get it all in. How did that not go in? I, I swear I saw that go in. <laughs> Okay, so that's half time and it's one all, but a bit of a strange old half because, uh, yeah, it, it was really dull, I'll be honest with you, to start with. If I, if I didn't know better, I'd say uh, Plymouth Argyle had had their works Christmas do last night and everybody's come on and they're a bit hungover because they, they just didn't look at it at all. It's only really, uh, I mean, even, even uh, Rotherham's goal came out of nothing. It was really poor defending on our part. The ball was just skipping about, nobody really got rid of it. The free shot, bang, in it went. Um, it was only really once uh, the, the, the sort of, there were two sort of bad injuries there, one in, one in the area and a player got substituted and then Bundu came on and almost his first touch of the ball once he came on, they floored him. It, it, it looked really bad, they had to get a stretcher on and everything and, and take him off. So it's only really once once those injuries happen that Plymouth Argyle seem to switch on and get back into the game so uh, yeah and, and then started looking really good they played 13 minutes extra time um, and Plymouth got a penalty then straight pretty much in that time and, uh, and, and scored uh, Spinazaz banged it in and they've looked pretty good value for money after that but uh, thank you <laughs> uh, but yeah so hopefully uh, Shiri has a bit of a go at them at half time and they come out and, and you know it's 
Yeah. Rotherham there, bottom of the league. Uh, it's a real scruffy game, and it's there to be won. Uh, Plymouth should go out and proper deliver it. I mean, if they play anything like they normally do over Saturday, they should, this is their game to have. I mean, they, they, they should probably be going for it, and they're not. They're just messing about. Uh, but yeah, it looked good late on. Let's hope they come out and have a bit more fight about them. Uh, I'd still say it's going to be 3-1, 2-1, 3-1. Uh, I'll see you at the end, let's see. been coming. I don't know, it's 10 men we seem to have backed off and not really put them to the sword. So, I don't know. The last 10 minutes they've been uh, going out again. They brought on Land of the Giants as well and uh, it's one of their strikers is super tall. Head and shoulders of everybody else has just put that in the net. So, there you go. This could be dodgy. So that's it, uh, game over, and it's 3-2 to our goal. What a very strange game that was. Uh, it's a very dodgy first half, but somehow we managed to pull it round. Second half is all huff and puff. Uh, again, once we took the lead at 2-1, we did our best to absolutely throw it away. They went down to 10 men, and we sort of sat back, I don't know, and we didn't properly go for it. They, they, they threw, like, 
the tallest people you've ever seen in your life on and uh, one of the strikers uh, number nine huge guy uh, he went up and scored and made it two all so two all against ten men I just thought oh, what's going on here so uh, eventually I mean when there was like seven minutes extra time uh, Argyle once again decided to uh, you know we best go for this but it, it took a bit of it took a bit of a while I have to say uh, but uh, and you know seven minutes extra time at the end I didn't think uh, you know they had lots of chances but I didn't think the, the goal was going to come and then thank the Lord Whitaker pops up and he just slots one in the bottom left hand corner and made it 3-2 right at the death there and even the referee did his best to extend it you know like say seven minutes extra times but it was actually he played a further two minutes of nine minutes extra time and God, I mean, they, they threw the goalkeeper up and everything was going on. And I, I just thought it was going to be three all by the time. But thank the Lord he blew his whistle at some point or other. He remembered he had a whistle and blew it. So uh, we managed to uh, hang on there somehow and get walk away with the points. So well done, our goal. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, this is the Home Park View. My name is Alan. Please leave a like or subscribe even better. And uh, I'll see you on the next home game. Cheers. Bye.